All right, so you guys have probably seen my modifications to my compressor here by Smitty Built. And uh, got the uh, Anderson connectors and alligator clips and all that stuff. Um, and the uh, fused Anderson clips to the truck. Today I'm going to do the uh, pressure cutoff switch. So if you've used these compressors, you know that they... Uh, have that blow off valve and when it builds up to pressure it just you know sounds like a shotgun blast <laughs> and uh, lets off the pressure so that gets annoying and a little fatiguing on the ears after a bit so I'm going to put in this uh, pressure switch which requires the T the pressure switch and the adapter that goes from the funky fitting here to the NPT fitting so I'm going to go ahead and get started on uh, taking this thing apart, kind of figure out how I'm going to wire the switch in and uh, make it kind of clean so there's not a whole bunch of stuff hanging out on the outside. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the uh, hose. This is that modified hose I did with the, with the standard fitting. So 9 sixteenths, loosen that up. Take this off and the little beauty ring set that aside don't lose that guy and then we're going to loosen these four allen screws all right so after you've got all four of the allen screws out you can lift off this chrome plate goes to the handle. You don't have to remove the handle, you can just leave that stuff there. And then uh, remove this cap. It just slides out from under the, the foot brace there. And set it aside over here so we can look at the switch wires. So once we have this set aside here, you've got your relay and your breaker. So this is your resettable breaker right here. Let's go ahead and uh, remove this nut and we'll uh, take this breaker and move it out of the way so we have a better view of the switch and the relay. And again, this is a 9 16 Just loosen that up. Don't lose your little fitting here. So you wanna unscrew. Just this little breaker plate and then the breaker slides right out of the hole and you can get it out of the way and then there right behind that breaker is your on off switch your on off switch there you have two two black wires one goes to the relay this one comes off of the on off switch and goes to the relay down here this one comes off of the switch and goes right into the compressor. So this, the one that goes into the compressor here, not the one that goes into the relay, but the one that comes from the switch into the compressor, you want to cut it. You've got enough excess here that, that you can leave a little bit of slack, but cut it here. And then we're going to add some length to that. And that's what we'll um, plug into our cutoff switch. Okay, so I'm just going to take my cutters, try to do this with one hand here. So I've got enough excess there that I can uh, work with the wire. So just cut that wire, grab your wire strippers, take a little bit off of that, and then we will uh, crimp in a couple of butt connectors and a little uh, extra piece of wire to extend this. Uh, so we have enough room to mount it to our switch or to plug it into our switch There's stripped and I'm just using some 16 gauge primary wire got those ends stripped out these are uh, quarter inch slip-on connectors that fit the pressure switch I'll crimp those on one end and then the butt connectors on the other end and then the crimp the butt connectors uh, to each of these 
to plug into the switch. When all the connectors are on the wire, it should look like that. So the two uh, butt connectors and the two slip-on terminals. This is what it looks like with those little jumpers crimped onto the cut wires that go to the switch. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to placement of the uh, T-fitting and the pressure switch and this little adapter. So I've got some Teflon tape wrapped on the threads. I'm gonna go ahead and install it onto the compressor. That's the outlet for the compressor there. So once that's tightened down, Go ahead and snug that up, and then we can thread in the T on. So I've already got the pressure switch mounted in there with some tef uh, Teflon tape. And then I'm going to go ahead and thread this on here. And I'm not quite sure if I'm going to mount it. And I wanted to mount it this way, so I don't have the pressure switch. A lot of guys mount the pressure switch, this part of the pressure switch over here. And then it sticks way out which I kind of wanted to figure out a way to where I could mount this switch down so it's kind of protected and the wires are protected, um, you know, just so I'm not hitting anything. So what I'm going to do here is uh, screw this fitting in and put this cap back on to see if I can locate a spot where I can drill a hole for the wires to come through with this pointing down. So it's kind of staying out of the way, a little more protected, um, you know, just so it doesn't get bumped and broken. That's pretty tight right there. I'm going to go ahead and remount my breaker so I know that that's where it needs to be. So if I need to drill a hole, if I'm going to reposition this cover to drill a hole, say on this side or this side, I know that it's in the place that it needs to be. I'll get that mounted back up, tighten down. Okay, so with the breaker mounted back into place, I'm going to... So normally it goes like this with the, uh, you know, the power switch and the breaker uh, toward the top of the air compressor. Now I'm thinking that... I'll mount it this way so I can drill a new hole here for those uh, pressure switch wires to go through. And since this cover is square, the mounting screws, uh, all the holes line up, you know, doesn't matter what orientation this uh, cover is in. So I'm going to go ahead and mount it back up and... Uh, Mark a hole location for those wires and see if on the inside here, I shouldn't have anything in the way uh, on that spot right there. So, but I'm gonna double check and then I'll drill my hole and get it mounted. Okay, these wires are just sticking out the bottom. That's not how they're gonna be, but. So all the holes line up for the uh, mounting screws, the Allen screws that mount this cover to the body. And you can see with the pressure switch, the cutoff switch mounted down, it's it's not in the way as much, so there, it's less likely to get, you know, bumped and broken that way. Uh, and then my, my hose fitting can go on this end and come out. So I'm going to mark these two locations and uh, go ahead and drill my little holes there and get the wires run through. All right, so I got a little bit ahead of myself. I went ahead and cut the other ends off on these uh, slip-on connectors. And um, when I marked out these holes, I drilled the holes out uh, 15 64ths, and that's the just the right size for these connectors to fit through. So I ran the wires through, and now I'm gonna crimp these connectors on, and then when I push them in, it's gonna be a nice tight fit, and then I can just run a little bit of uh, sealant uh, over that to keep it waterproof. Focus on that. And the uh, 
connectors on the pressure switch. And I can go ahead and get this mounted up and tightened down and test it out. Well, I gotta get my, uh, my air hose fitting put on this end and then I can test it out. Okay, so now that I know all this fits, I'm gonna go ahead and get my plate mounted and the uh, little beauty washer on there. Get my uh, pressure switch and the T-fitting permanently mounted, get, get my hose mounted, and um, get everything tightened up, all the uh, little Allen screws that mount the foot plate uh, and everything tightened up to that cover. Okay, so I got a little bit of waterproof adhesive sealant on those connectors. And you can see that the way that this is oriented, coming out with the pressure switch going down, uh, it's less likely to get bumped. So that kind of looks a little bit more factory than... Let's see if I can get that sealant to set in place. So quite a bit more protected that way. Don't have to worry about it getting bumped so much. So I'm going to go test it out. see on my other video how I did this but it's just a line going in to the directly to the battery with some uh, inline fuses right to the compressor.